Yo, Bracey Skills Connects back with another video. It's cold, it's raining. Been up early, so if I look tired, that's why I've been up since like five. I'm about to go take a nap in a minute, actually. I'm just do this video real quick, man. Good session this morning, working out with some of the guys um, at, at Vallejo High, getting them ready. Um, hopefully, the season continues. A lot of sickness going around. We know what that word is. I'm not trying to get my channel all that. So we know what it is, but hopefully you guys are staying safe and healthy out there taking care of your taking care of your immune system. Okay, I know, you know, I'm not going to get into debate about who got the sticky icky and who don't got the sticky icky, but regardless of that status, make sure you're taking care of your immune system and getting your vitamins in, drinking your water, etc. All right, but uh real quick, be quick and short today. Um Yesterday, I, I went on my story and I posted a lot of clips of the great Chip England. If you don't know who Chip England is, um, he's known as the quote unquote shot doctor. He's the Spurs shooting coach. Uh, he came on in like 2005. He helped Tony Parker with his jump shot, you know, played a huge part in Parker's uh, finals MVP season in 2007. He also helped, you know, plenty of other guys. Um, but, you know, Kawhi Leonard, who wasn't known as a shooter when he came in and de helped develop that as well. Well, fine tune that, I must say, because he did go on record and say he didn't really change too much. He just tweaked a little bit of his shot. And um, he's also helped currently, you know, DeJounte Murray. And so I just want to I just want to basically put this out here for all the trainers, man. The best trainers are not just the ones you see on Instagram, bro. The best, the best trainers in the player development are the guys that are actually in the league. I know there are some great trainers that are not in the league for sure, but you know, I would highly advise that you take notes from the guys that are actually in the league working with these guys every day. And I'm talking about the ones that really put the work in. Um, you know, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to go to all the games, NBA games, like two hours before the game starts, and I would see all the stars, all the players out there working out, and I'm looking at what they're doing. They're drenched, shirts drenched wet, and they're just doing simple reps, man, getting a lot of shots up, going through in-game, pick-and-roll situations. It's really something to see, and I'm not going to lie. I think seeing that as a young kid has really played a huge part in the way that I train kids now keeping it simple, not really using too much equipment, just focusing on reps and doing everything over and over. So, um, yeah, man, I highly advise that you just go on YouTube and just type in Chip England. Um, it's it's with an E. Um, I think it's with E-N-G. Is it E-L-L-A-N-D? Sorry if I misspelled it, but if you type in Chip England with an E, he's going to come up. He's a San Antonio Spurs shooting coach. He also played professionally. Sorry about that. I got a call. You know how that goes. But yeah, he played professionally and is also known as one of the best shooters ever. He was one of the top shooters in the world. So, uh, man, really, really good stuff. Um, I know he doesn't have a huge uh, social media platform or a huge internet following like other guys today. He's on, you know, he's a little older. But man, his stuff, it works. It still works to this day. It's the reason why this, he's been with the Spurs for over 15 years. And um, other teams have tried to get him. I know Steve Kerr with the Warriors tried to get him to go coach with the Warriors, but he's, you know, he stayed with San Antonio. But, you know, I'm going to start really putting the spotlight on guys that you guys really should be looking at. And no disrespect to none of these trainers that, you know, are popular, have the big names, but Man, it's a lot of good ones that you guys never hear about, you know. Um, I think the most popular player development coach in the NBA currently, if you're really in the basketball world, especially if you're on, if you're in Northern California or the Bay Area, everybody knows Phil Handy. <clears throat> you know, Phil Handy's great, man. He's, I mean, he's worked with some of the best, the greats. He's worked with Kobe. He's worked with LeBron. He's worked with Kyrie. He's worked with. Uh, Kawhi, I mean, he's, you know, still with the Lakers now. So he's worked with a lot of different people. You know, he's another good one. So, man, just start looking into these player development coaches in the NBA, man, and just picking stuff up, picking stuff up from them because, I mean, they're training the best players in the world. So what better, um, what better resource than those guys? I mean, they're working with the best players, 
you know, they can break down habits and how they got certain pros to go from point A to point B. So, you know, I've really been studying some of these player development coaches, but I'm definitely a huge, huge fan of Chip England. Now, I swear it's not a biased statement. I'm, everybody knows I'm a Spurs fan, but, I mean, his resume speaks for himself, bro. Like, what he's been able to do, these are guys that were considered – non-shooters like Tony Parker and Kawhi and DeJounte these were guys that on their scouting report coming into the league their biggest weaknesses were being able to shoot the ball and he's turned a liability into something that is a strength so yeah check him out man but that's the video today y'all have a good one